Hey guys, what's up everybody? We got the Indians at the Athletics here. Again, uh, May 23rd, 1949. Let's get this one underway. And uh, the uh, Athletics, 17 to 16. The Indians, of course, 18 and 10. The Athletics are kind of falling out of this. Phil Marchildon is starting this for the Athletics. 1 and 1 now the count on Kel uh, Keltner, and that's low. 2 and 1 the count quickly. There's one foul back. It's 2 and 2 now on Keltner, and uh, ground ball over to third base. Majeski has that, throws to first, fourth. Yeah, one away. Where Children in real life actually did start six games. This is his first uh, start here in Diamond Mine. This is not a good sign in real life. Six games started, seven games appeared in, but only 16 innings pitched. So uh, we'll see what happens. This is one of those modern day starters here for the Athletics. One and no the count on Dobie. That's high. Two and no the count on him. And ground ball over to Juice to Shore. Throws to first. Two gone. Here is Mickey Vernon. Vernon takes that fastball high for a ball. One and one the count. And uh, next pitch is in there. That's high. Two and oh. There is a fastball in there for a strike, two and one. Phil uh, gets in on him, and uh, that's fouled away, two and two, now full count. So Phil goes the distance with Mickey. And that's hit right over Juice head into left field for a base hit. So uh, Marchildon at least hasn't given up the long ball yet. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. There's a ground ball by uh, Boudreau over to Juice, flips that one over to Suter, the uh, second baseman for the force out. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And so uh, here is uh, Eddie Juice uh, for the Athletics against early win. Juice takes a ball, win, 4-2, and 5.09 ERA. Ground ball over to Vernon, flips over to win, covering at the bag for the out, one gone. And here is Elmer Vallo. Elmer hitting 349. I know I'm always screwing with this microphone, trying to push it up, push it back down. Don't, can't, can never be satisfied. One on one, the count on Volo as he uh, takes that ball. And that's a little base hit over right in front of Mitchell in left field, lands right in front of him. Volo with a base hit. He'll be the runner on at first base. Hank Majeski up there now, uh, runner on at first one out. Let's do some hit and run. Majeski hitting 321. Ground ball over to Gordon. Hit and run works. Volo crosses in front of him. Gordon has to go to first. Two outs now. Wally Moses up there and a runner on at second base. It's a ball low to Wally, 1-0 the count. There's a flare there to right field, and uh, Kennedy's got that for the out. We go to the top of the second. Here is Dale Mitchell. Mitchell, one of the uh, success stories for Cleveland this year, hitting 346. A little ground ball over to Ferris Fain, goes to the bag himself, one gone. Bob Kennedy now takes a strike, and there's one up the middle past uh, Marchildon, but Suter has that going the other way, throws over to first base. Great play for the out. If you picture that, this is one of those where the um, – Play-by-play play doesn't do a great job for you. He is going from this part over to that part. If you can see my mouse, he is going from the left side of second base over to the right as he uh, double clutches before making the excellent throw to Fane against his body and against his momentum for the out. Two away, and here's Joel Gordon. Ball in there to Gordon. One and know the count on him. And there's another ball. Two and know the count on Joe. And there's a strike in there. Two and one. Gordon hitting 257. Takes ball three. Three and one the count. And that's inside for ball four. That'll bring up Jim Hegan, a uh, runner on at first base here for Cleveland, top of the second two away. There's a ball on Jim and another ball, two and no the count on him. And that's outside for ball three, and that's out wide. And this is where Phil Marshilden has his problems. He's walked two so far in this inning. Early win now takes a strike. He walked the number seven and eight hitters. There's a uh, ground ball over to, uh, boy, what was that? Juiced has it, and no chance at first. Thr tries to uh, throw uh, over to Gordon at third. And uh, uh, Joe, not uh, confused, uh, keeps going all the way, and uh, that's going to be an infield hit for early win. That'll bring up Ken Keltner. Base is loaded now, and uh, yeah, this is pretty bad. So that one goes back through the backstop, and that's a wild pitch by Marchildon. Aguera just sort of like watches that one bounce behind him, and that scores the run. one nothing Cleveland. There's a drive over to deep left field. Vallo goes back. He's got that for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning. one nothing Cleveland. End up is a Sam Chapman who takes a ball here for the Athletics. Bottom of the second inning. Another ball on him. 2-0. and oh. There's ball 3-3. Three. Three and oh, the count on Chapman. And there's a slider in there for a strike. It's 3-1. and one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Chapman watching it. And there's a uh, foul tip. Hegan holds on to that. That's strike 3. First strikeout for early win. And here's Ferris Fane, and a uh, little pitch inside on him, and Fane just dumps that into left field, base hit, and that'll uh, bring up Pete Suter now, uh, runner on at first base. And uh, let's see what Fane can do, and uh, he doesn't have a chance to do anything. It's a pop-up first pitch swinging over to Lou Boudreau, two away just like that, and up comes Mike Guerra, the catcher. Guerra takes a strike, 0-1 is the count. That's fouled away, it's 0-2 on Mike. And there's a liner to third base by Kellner, who jumps, can't get to it. Fane will stop at second. That brings up Marchildon, who had a total of six at-bats in real life, and he takes a strike. That was a curveball that he thought was hitting his head, and now that's in there for a strike. Next one's popped up, and uh, Mitchell in left field has it for the out. We go to the top of the third. 
Larry Doby, the hitter, takes a ball from Rich Hildon. 1-0 the count. Ground ball over to second. Suter has it, throws to first, and uh, that gets his man one away. Here's Mickey Vernon. That's inside the line at first base. That's uh, going to be um, a base hit to right field. Vernon uh, around first base will go to second easily. That's a double for him. Brings up Lou Boudreau now with the runner on a second, and Boudreau uh, takes the ball high, and another one high, 2-0 and the count. Three hits for the Indians. That's uh, high again, 3-0. and There's the strike, 3-1 and the count on Lou, and that's uh, foul back, full count now on Boudreau. And that's just low, and that's a base on balls, third one given up by Phil. Up comes Dale Mitchell, who takes the ball inside, low and inside, 1-0 and the count, and that's low again, 2-0. and A little pop-up uh, suitor under that, grabs it for the out, two gone. Bob Kennedy up now. There's a ball inside, 1-0 and the count, and uh, there's another one. He holds up his swing on that one, and there's another one that misses, 3-0. and Fastball on the inside corner is 3-1, and one, and that is ball four off the corner. So for two innings in a row now, Marshall Dunn has uh, managed to walk the bases loaded, Last time he threw a wild pitch that led to the only Cleveland run so far. Here's Joe Gordon, and he takes the ball low. That one missed by a long way. Ground ball to Juice, shovels that over to Suter. We go to the bottom of the third. Marshilden barely able to get away with it. Eddie Juice up there hits the first pitch he sees over to Adobe in center for the out. One away. Elmer Vallo now up there. One and one to count on him as that one was high and tight. That's low now, two and one. The knuckler misses low, three and one the count. And there's that strike, full count now on Elmer. Line drive, and that is past Kellner again, and that one will end up uh, going all the way down to the bullpen, which is over in this area. Valo rounds first, gets to second, and is in there. So uh, four hits for the Athletics in this one. They trail one nothing, but they're knocking on the door. One out, and uh, Hank Majeski up there. Majeski hitting 319, 34 RBIs already this season. 0-2 the count on him. And, boy, he was struck out looking by early win on that one. Strikeout number two for a win. And that means that there's uh, two away now for Wally Moses. Moses is 14 RBIs. He takes the ball. And there's a strike. 1-1 one one the count on Wally. Low, 2-1. and one. There's one hit to the left. Uh, Boudreau goes over to his uh, left, actually. Has that one and throws the first four of the out. We go to the top of the fourth. It is Jim Hegan. Jim Hegan up there takes the ball. And then a strike. 1-1 one one the count on Jim. And there's a fly ball deep to center field. But Chapman has plenty of space and grabs that for the out. One away. Early win now. Wynn ha- had an infield hit last time, takes the ball, fouls one away, one and one. That's a ball again, two and one the count. That's fouled away, two and two on early, and that's inside full count on Wynn. There's one hammered left side four base hit, so Marshilden can't get Wynn out. He can get everyone else out. Fourth hit of the game for the Indians, second of the game for Wynn. He's two for two. Ken Kellner now hit one, hits one uh, deep to right center field, and that one's all the way to the wall. That splits Chapman and Moses. It's an airport out there. Kellner around first, second, and all the way to third base for a triple. And so now it's a 2 nothing ball game. Up comes Larry Doby. Marshallden um, gives up a base hit to Doby. I can't even say anything about what's happening. They're hitting it so fast. Base hit to center field. That makes this a 3-0 game, and here comes Mickey Vernon. That's a liner between first and second, another base hit, and uh, Doby's going for third. Here comes the throw, and he is safe. Vernon now three for three today, so uh, runners on at the corners, only one away, Lou Boudreau up there. And uh, there's one popped up, and uh, it's Vallow left field who has that one for the out, uh, two away, and it's uh, Dale Mitchell now. There's one hit over into the air again, over to left, and uh, Vallow has it, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Sam Chapman comes up here for the Athletics. Athletics have been hitting well, but uh, can't quite get it to work. One and one quickly is the count. And there's one looped over to left field. Chapman was jammed on that one. Wind came inside him, and he was able to dump it into left anyway. And here comes Ferris Fain. Time to do some hitting and running. And uh, there goes Chapman. That one's hit over to left side. Boudreau has no play other than to go to first, and he does with that. So runner on at second base now for Pete Suter. Feels like the Athletics have had runners on second base the entire game. Fly ball, first pitch swinging by Pete over to Kennedy in right field. That's not going to do it. Two away, and here's Mike Guerra. Guerra hitting 254. That's one hit over to left field, down the left field line. That's fouled over by the bullpen. That drops. One strike now on Mike. That's a ground ball over to Boudreau. He makes the play, goes to first, and we go to the top of the fifth. There's a strike in there to Bob Kennedy, leadoff hitter, and then a ball. One and one the count on Kennedy, leading it off for the Indians, top of the fifth. There's a strike to him. And a fly ball over to centers. Chapman has that for the out. One gone. Joe Gordon now comes up, and he takes a ball. 1-0. and Another one inside. 2-0. and That's fouled off. 2-1 and the count on uh, Gordon. That's uh, fouled off again. It's 2-2. Two and two. Pop up behind second is actually going to be the shortstop, Juice, who has that one for the out. Two gone, and that'll bring up Jim Hegan. There's a fastball low that misses, and there's one fouled away. 1-1 and one the count on Jim. 
little ground ball that uh, Short Juiced has. It goes to first. Easy peasy. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and here is Phil Marshildon. 0 for 1 today. Well-seasoned Marshildon. I don't know anything about this guy. Um, 35 years old, so it'd be interesting to go do some research on him. Takes a strike and another strike. 0 and 2 the count. That one is a little tight. 1 and 2 now, and 2 and 2 is that was high. And there's a base head through to left field solidly into the hole. That's hit number six for the Athletics, and here comes Eddie Juice. This is still a winnable game. Juice takes the ball, and that one's hit deep to center field, and that is high, high, and is caught by Doby, 468 feet out to center. You're not going to hit it out that way. Up is um, El Mervalo, who takes a strike. He's two for two. There's one hits o- hit over to the right side, and Vernon, uh, the first baseman, has it, has to flip over to win for the out, and Marshallin goes to second. That'll bring up Hank Majeski. Two away, and again, a runner on a second, and there's one hit straight over to Larry Doby in center. Again, first ball swinging. We go to the top of the six. It's early win. Win takes a strike right at the knees. 0-1 oh, the count, and that's inside. 1-1 one one the count. That's inside again. It's 2-1 and one on win. Curveball misses 3-1, and one. and he follows that one off. Full count now in early win, and that's hit into right center field. Chapman has that for the out. One away. Ken Kellner up again. Go to the top of the order. He's one for three. Takes a strike. Ground ball to second, Suter over to first, two gone, Larry Doby, and he hits one over to Majeski, who throws to first. We go to the bottom of the six. Wally Moses up there trying to get the uh, offense going for Philadelphia. He takes a curve low, and that's a ball on the outside corner, 2-0. That's out on this black for a strike, and there's one low. 3-1 and one the count now on Moses. He hits one straight to Doby in center, one gone, and it's Sam Chapman who takes the strike, 0-1. Outside, one and one now the count, and that's hit to short. Boudreau has it on the first two gone. Ferris Fain hits that into left, and that is down and past Mitchell into the wall. Fain winds up at second base with a uh, double. Hit number seven for the Athletics. I just told you they've had runners on at second base, I think, every inning. And here comes Pete Suter, who takes a strike. Runners in scoring position everywhere. There's a fly ball to right field. Kennedy goes over and grabs that one, saves that from uh, landing, and we go to the top of the seventh. It's Mickey Vernon. There is a ball to Vernon, 1-0 the count. He's 3-for-3. Three three. Another ball, 2-0. There is a strike, 2-1 and one the count on Vernon. It's hit over to the right side, and Marshildon has it. Throws to first, one gone. Lou Boudreau takes a ball. And uh, that's fouled away, 1-1 one one the count now on Boudreau, and that's hit to the alley, right center field. Chapman, center fielder, has it. Two on. Dale Mitchell now hits one into right field, and uh, that's going to be a base hit right in front of Moses. Moses stops that one from going further. Hit number 8 for the Indians. Here is Bob Kennedy. Kennedy takes the ball and a strike. One and one the count. And that one's popped up, foul ground, out of play. One and two now on Kennedy. That misses low. It's two and two on him. Foul back, full count, or two and two count remains. My apologies. And uh, that's a ground ball over to Fane. He goes to the bag. And we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. So uh, three nothing, the score remains. And uh, uh, let's see what uh, the Athletics can do. About to say the Phillies, the Athletics can do. Mike Guerrero takes a strike. And a ball. One and one is the count. And there's one hit into right center field for a base hit. Guerrero goes on to first base, and that'll bring up Phil Marshallden. And, uh, I mean, I guess we got to have him bunt, so we're going to have him bunt. And there's a sacrifice bunted foul, 0 oh and 1, and that's one high. One and one the count. <laughs> Phil bunts that one up in the air, and uh, Wynn has that and goes straight on to first for the double play. They caught the Guerra off the back, so double play, and here comes Eddie Juice, who takes the strike. Juice is 0 for 3 today, 288 the uh, batting average, but a great 448 on base percentage. 1 and 2, that one just missed. Slider, 2 and 2. And there's a swing and a miss, and down he goes, and we go to the top of the 8th inning. It's going to be Joe Gordon. Marshildon's still in this game. Ground ball to Juice. He has it, throws the first, one gone. Jim Hegan now takes a ball, 1 and 0. And uh, that's uh, just outside, 2-0, and, oh, and that's outside again, 3-0 the count. There's the strike, 3-1 and one on Hegan, and that's high, and that's going to be a walk, number 5 by Marshall, and here comes early win. There's a attempt at a bump, but the pitch is high, 1-0 oh, the count, fastball, it misses, 2-0, and, oh, and that's on the outside corner, 2-1 and one on win. And 2-2 two and two is win, missed that one. And uh, that's fouled away, 2-2 two and two it remains. And there's a foul bunt, and that'll be a strikeout for Marshall, and his first strikeout of the game. Two gone. Here's Ken Keltner. Keltner takes the ball inside. And uh, two and oh now the count. Fastball's in there for a strike. Two and one. There's a number foul. Two and two on Ken. That's outside. Full count on him. 
And that's off the plate. Another walk. So six walks from Rashildon to this inning. And here's Larry Doby who takes the ball inside. 1-0. and Ground ball over and into center field. And that's going to potentially score one. Here comes Hegan as uh, Chapman's throw comes in. Hegan's got it beat. 4 nothing Indians. And here's Mickey Vernon who uh, has a 1-1 count on him quickly. And there's a pop-up over to the left side. Out of play. 1-2 and two the count on Vernon. It's out of play. 1-2 and two it remains. And there's a the ball. Two and two the count on Mickey. It's hard up the middle for a base hit. And here comes Keltner to score. And I think he will. We'll try to get him. We're unable to. And so it's a 5 nothing game. I think that's about it for Marshilden. Marshilden uh, did a valiant job. And you can see just looking here at this bullpen why we wanted him to pitch so long. It's going to be Bubba Harris who's going to come into this one. I don't care about where he is in the order. We'll just put him here in the nine spot. So Bubba Harris will come in. Probably the only pitcher the Athletics will uh, use other than Marshilden. And uh, he throws a ball promptly to Boudreaux. And there's a strike, one and one. Off the outside corner, it's two and one. And there's one over to left center field. That's a base hit for Boudreaux. That scores one and sends Vernon to third. Six nothing Cleveland. Now Dale Mitchell takes a ball. Uh, we do not want to intentionally walk him. One and oh. And there's a foul ball right side. Out of play. One and one the count. Hit to center field. Chapman has that for the out easily. And uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Six nothing Cleveland. Here's Elmer Vallo, who fouls one back. I thought the Marshilton did okay. 0-2 oh, now in Vallo. It's just that win's been really good, and there's a base hit for Vallo. He's 3-4 for four today. Brings up Hank Majeski. Where's everybody else? Where's the middle of this lineup? There's a foul ball. It's 0-1. Line drive over the head of Boudreaux for a base hit. That's hit the left field, and we're not going to have Vallo run to third. And that's hit number 10 for the Athletics, and once again, they have a runner on at second base. Wally Moses comes up. Moses takes a strike in there. Good slider. There's a little chopper off the plate over towards short. Boudreaux has it, goes to first, his only play. Runners move up. Two gone. Here's Sam Chapman. One gone, I'm sorry. There's a strike to Chapman and a foul ball. It's uh, 0-2 on Sam. Lined over third base, and that one will drop in front of Mitchell, and that scores two. That's a good base hit by Chapman all the way out there in left field. It's a 6-2 ball game, and here's Ferris Fain, and there's a strike in there to Fain. 0-1. Foul ball, 0-2. Oh and, and there's a check swing. They're calling out a ball, 1-2. and two. Sliders low, 2-2. Two and two. Ground ball over third base. That's going to be a fair ball into the corner. corner. Mitchell has it. Here comes Chapman. He is safe and Fain with the big double, and that's a 6-3 three, three ball game. And who is coming up now? Satchel Page is going to be the relief pitcher here for Cleveland. This is actually not a great thing. I think I was planning on starting him in their next game. Six to three Indians now, and they do need Page up there to get guys out. Ground ball to second, and Gordon throws to first. Uh, two gone. Fain moves to third. Here's Mike Guerra. And there's a pop up out of play, 0 and 1. Big fastball on Guerra, 0 and 2. And swinging in the midst of that one, Page got him swinging, and we go to the, bot- or the top of the ninth inning. It's actually good because Harris can stay in there. Kennedy fouls one back, and uh, that misses, 1 and 1. Fly ball right field. Suter going after that one and foul down territory, more like uh, behind first base than right field, and it uh, lands uh, foul. One and two on Kennedy. Ground ball to third. Majeski has it. Goes on to first. One gone. Here's Joe Gordon. Striking there to Joe. There's a foul ball. It's 0 and 2. It's hit deep to left field. Vallo goes up, up, and jumps up and makes a great catch by the wall. Two away, and it's Jim Hegan. There's a ball in there to Jim. One and 0. That one misses 2-0. and High and inside 3-0 and now in Hegan. And there's ball four. And so Harris walks his first of the game, 12th of the year. And there's a ball from Thurman Tucker. And there's a foul ball right afterwards. 1-1, one one, two gone. There's a uh, ground ball over to Majeski. Left side throws to first. And he gets his man easily. We go to the bottom of the ninth. It's time for a pinch hitter. And you know what time it is. It's Nelly Fox time. Fox comes into this game as the pinch hitter. Hitting 308, 463 on base percentage, and he fouls one just foul down the line. There's one low, one and one the count now on Fox. Grounder to second, Gordon has that, goes to first, one gone. Eddie Juice now, 0 for 4 today, disappointing in this one, has a ball. And two balls, 2 and 0 the count. Fly ball to right center field, it's Kennedy who has that for the uh, second out, two gone. And Elmer Vallo, the last chance for Cleveland, fouls one back. 0 and 1, and that's high, 1 and 1 on Vallo. Pop-up foul, one and two, and uh, this is fouled away right of the box. And he just stays alive, one and two still, and that's high, hard, but no swing. Two and two now on Valo. And that's in at the ankles, full count now on Elmer. 
Little line drive straight to Boudreaux for the out, and that does it. So the Indians win this one 6-3. to three. They temporarily are in first place because the Yankees have yet to play. And Philadelphia, for all of their great OPS, for all of their um, good pitching and their great fielding, they're starting to slip. Hope you enjoy this one. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.